All right, guys, well, I'm back today taking a look at some Ozark Trail knives. These are available at Walmart, and it's Walmart's in-house lineup of knives, camping-related gear, and other things like that. And I've always reviewed these or picked them up in the past, and a lot of times they were about 4 to $5. Now, the prices have went up a little bit, but so has the quality, or at least it seems like it, to about 7 or $8 per knife, depending on the configuration you select. And they seem pretty darn cool. Now, it's almost like the bare minimum of an EDC knife that's actually functional that you could use without worrying about losing or dropping somewhere or even giving away because they are so affordable. Now, on this channel, I review a ton of other knives and things like that, so definitely check it out. Most of the EDC knives I recommend, um, even when they're on sale, are about 10 or $12 at the bare minimum. So pushing it to the 7 or $8 limit is going to be interesting to see what these look like. But let's open them up, and I'll tell you guys my opinions about them. So I've got them opened up, and the quality is surprisingly a little bit better than I thought. Again, we are talking about a $7 to $8 knife. Now, this one, I believe, comes in at just a touch under $7. It's got the plastic slash rubberized handle with all of those little cuts. And it's got a little spot right there that you can grab to open it up. And a flipper located in the back. And this is a liner lock design. Now, you can flip it open, and it's got a good little oomph to it. Um... Feels fairly sharp out of the box, and all it says is stainless steel. It's not going to give you all the exact specs and features of the knife. So again, more of just like a cheaper, really, I mean, dirt cheap pocket knife. Now, this one feels good in your hand. The flipping action is okay. It doesn't have any jimping on the blade, so it's a little bit slippery if you were trying to use this and grab it back here. So not the greatest in the world, but not the worst. A functional pocket knife for about 6 or $7. Now, the next two are pretty interesting. These ones have locks on the back. This particular one is a liner lock design, an aluminum handle, a stainless steel blade, and assisted opening. So this thing rockets out of there. Uh, the action feels... Like any other uh, kind of cheaper assisted opening knife, the blade lockup, you definitely have some blade play. So that is not the greatest in the world. Let's check the blade centering on this one. Not too bad. So you do have a little blade play. This one does have a little jimping on the back. This one comes out to be about $8. So again, a little bit more money for the aluminum handle with the lock design. And if the lock is up, you're not going to be able to close this all the way. Um, but you're also not going to be able to uh, deploy it. So if the lock is up, it will not let you deploy. You have to slide that down and open it up. So an interesting feature. Now, this one is actually a frame lock design, which probably feels the most sturdy. This one feels the most well-built. Again, that same locking mechanism located in the back. The flipper action is pretty nice. It does have some thumb studs. I love the grind on this, and this seems to be the sharpest out of the box for some reason of all the knives. If you were looking for, like, the best quality knife out of the bunch with the strongest action, let's check that minimal blade play compared to the blue one for some reason, probably because of that uh, frame lock design. Locks up solid, works out great, a tip-down carry. This is definitely going to be the winner of the collection itself. Now, they're all just called 7-inch folding knives. So you may have uh, different versions of these at your local Walmart. And there was actually a few other versions available, including some fixed blade knives. But these are my three favorites. And this is my favorite out of the bunch. So I'm calling this guy the winner. And if you were going to buy a Walmart Ozark Trail knife as something just to carry around, this would be the one I would select. It's a solid knife, solid lockup, good assisted opening action, all for about eight bucks. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope it gives you some interesting knives from Walmart. If you've seen anything there that you want me to take a look at or other budget brands you want me to take a look at, besides a lot of those kind of mid-tier high-value knives I've been reviewing on Amazon, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.